Hey, what's up guys? This is Spidey1997 doing another Marvel Legends review. Today we're finally be, finally going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends series, Build-A-Figure Warlock Wave, Jim Lee Cyclops, and man, oh my god, man, this is probably my favorite figure from this wave. Even though it's reusing the Bucky Cat mold and, you know, having, you know, a couple of uh, added details and stuff, it's still a... Uh, just a great figure as you can see right now. I'm kind of you know stuttering, but you know also speechless because just I, I'm really happy that we finally have a 90s version of Cyclops. This is probably the version of Cyclops that everybody wants in their collection. So to start off with the you know you know to start the review, let's take a look at the packaging like we always do. You got Marvel Cyclops, Marvel X Men Legends series, and X uh, Man logo at the bottom. A very nice image of Cyclops. Very, very nice. I really do dig that artwork. Uh, nothing at the bottom. Uh, this is the back, of course. Very nice. Uh, and I kind of wish he brought, or you know, you know, bring some uh, accessories for his uh, his um, optic blast, but it's okay. It would have been nice, but I guess it's too much to ask for Hasbro. So you got Marvel Cyclops. You got the bio. If the camera can focus, there you go. And the whole character of the wave and the build of figure itself and nothing at the bottom. And the side is the same. So yeah, that's enough for the packaging. He does come with the uh, the left leg for a warlock, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, he, he pretty much comes with nothing. He just comes with this. So that's a bit unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so back to the figure. The figure is, is just very nice, I must say. A uh, very nice detail. I'm really, really digging the new head sculpt. I think they captured the 90s look for Cyclops with this head sculpt. I'm very, very impressed. And so far, I'm really pleased with this figure a lot. Um, uh, you know, I do have a couple of minor gripes with this figure. Um, mostly with the, sh the leg straps. I'm guessing everybody has that problem with the Cyclops. But, you know, I did super glue them in place. So, you know, they're not going to be... Uh, falling around or all over the place of his legs and stuff. So I did super glue them. So um, You know, I'm pretty much happy um, You know if you guys get this guy uh, These things might annoy you a lot because they do fall off very easily once you move the swivel of the boot uh, His his little calf strap or the you know the strap on his calf is pr is gonna fall off down so it's probably gonna fall down and also the uh, the uh, thigh strap so that's a little bit of annoying but that's okay because you know it, it is what it is I, I, I still wish Hasbro had the opportunity to glue it in place and so we don't have to do it and we just enjoy the figure but unfortunately they didn't glue it and they just let it look, like fall down on his leg so that was a bit annoying um this very nice detail for the X-Men logo um, I know in the show this was his communicator, so that's pretty cool. They painted that gold. Um, you know, you got a nice. I think the X Men logo on the on the strap on his uh, chest came out very nice, painted very nicely. I don't see any splotch of paint, so that's good. Especially on the belt, very nice painted with some black and red. Um, my only gripe as well is the the uh, chest straps is a different yellow color than the rest of the yellow on his costume um on this is a little bit of an orange look to it i don't know if they were trying to have a shade shading on this um strap but uh, I, I think it's a little bit off because it, it just makes the the strap look too orange and it just makes it look not it doesn't match the yellow of the rest of his costume especially the the glove uh cuff and stuff and the bootstraps and stuff so yeah that's a little bit of a unfortunate as well but like i said it's still passable it's still a great figure and you know it, it, i don't think you probably uh, pay attention a lot to that stuff so yeah like i said the head sculpt is very nice the hair has some very nice black shading around the brown so that's nice as well uh the visor is painted with some gold paint the red outstanding very nice the, like i say he has like a stern face so that's good uh, this belt does come off. But I don't know why you would do that because he would just look naked without the belt and the strap. But yeah, uh, you know, you got a nice strap. These are loose as well. Uh, this reminds me of the uh, the Jim Lee Rogue that came out uh, not too long ago, but I think like a few years back. But uh, yeah, uh, you got the nice buckle right here on his straps. And yeah, nothing really. It's just plastic. Uh, just paint here and paint here and paint there. 
the rest is just molded in uh, plastic so that yeah but it's it's simple but it's still really good so yeah that you know if you guys really want a 90s look or cyclops this is the one to get it is using the bucky cat mold but i'm glad they did because they used it a lot with cyclops and they're coming out with another cyclops figure with the dark phoenix dark phoenix in a two pack this year and he has his classic uh 70s costume look so that's pretty cool but i'm you know i don't really think i might get it but i'm still you know i prefer this version of cyclops over all versions of cyclops over the years so yeah very nice I'm, I'm just very happy to finally have this guy in the collection i did not find him in the wild unfortunately um i did pay um i did uh order him on amazon uh, you know, he was a bit pricey, but you know, I couldn't find him anywhere at retail. I was being very patient. Hopefully, I would find him one day. You know, if I find one in the wild and uh, another time, I'm still gonna get one because you know he is pretty cool. So I would like to have two at least. But uh, yeah, I just had to buy him on Amazon. So you know, I th I'm pretty happy that I did because I was tired of waiting, and he was probably the hardest uh, character to find in this wave. And you know, because I guess everybody wants this guy, especially Colossus. Colossus was another one to, is, is, is another character that is really hard to find nowadays. But, uh, yeah, so that is, it is what it is. So, yeah, so, uh, that's all I have to say for this Jim Lee Cyclops. So, if you guys really want this 90s look, hopefully you guys find him one day, and hopefully you guys have, you know, are lucky to find them. So, like I said, I did not find them in the wild. I've seen people who find them at Walgreens, Target, Walmart. Uh, yeah, I've been to all those places. I, I never have any luck finding those uh, this figure. So, yeah. So, that's all I have to say, guys. So, please comment and subscribe. P please give this video a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video. And this is Spidey1997 signing out and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.